Good morning, Youth Build. Hope everybody's uh, taking care of themselves. I haven't seen you all in a few weeks, but uh, hopefully we get through this together and everybody's staying healthy and washing your hands. So we're going to do a little bit of, uh, uh, what do we call it, uh, schooling from home. All right. So I'm going to uh, take on some projects that you might be able to do at your house, some simple tasks. Uh, today we're going to start with um, sheet rocking, uh, actually taping a ceiling. Uh, when they built this house, they never uh, taped the seams along the, um, the walls to the ceilings. So we're going to uh, try to get in here and get a, a good view of what I'm talking about. There's a big gap where the ceiling meets the wall. And what we're going to do this, uh, it's, it's called uh, flat taping. Okay, we're going to uh, take some uh, tape and joint compound and, and get rid of that, that uh, seam that's there, that big gap. Okay, but first off, I want to show you a couple of different types of tools that we have uh, that you're going to need in order to do sheet rocking. Today, we're going to mostly use a uh, five inch knife, but the knives go from an uh, inch and a half to three to five to uh, seven inch, 10 inch, uh, uh, eight inch, 10 inch, and a 12 inch knife. Okay, so these are the type of tools that you need. This here is a corner trial. This is where you get into uh, a wall that meets on a 90 degree. If you're doing a uh, ceiling, you could use this, or you could use it on a uh, on a uh, inside corner of a wall. Next tool you'll need is just a sanding pad. This is the tape that we're talking about, and this is the joint compound. Uh, first thing I did this morning was I laid down some um, some protection on the floor, so we don't drop any uh, compound on the floor, and it, it's a lot easier to clean up. Also, set myself up a plank that I can reach that easily and safely without. Uh, worry about falling too far. All right, so we're ready to start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, four inch knife. I'm gonna take some compound, just like that, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna get it into that gap. We wanna slowly fill that gap with some compound. And we wanna get a little bit on the ceiling as well. So that the tape that we're gonna put on there sticks. All right, wanna take up that void we want to get it onto there and spread it out evenly. Some of it will drop. That's why I put down that floor protection. All right, so we're just going to do that. We're going to do that all the way down the wall, all the way down to the end. All right, so you notice I covered the, uh, the ceiling with mud and uh, partial of the wall all the way down. And I did that so that the tape will stick to it, okay? This tape here is just paper, okay? It, it doesn't have any adhesive on it, like regular tape that you'd find, you know, like uh, contact tape or duct tape. It's not sticky, it's just paper. It's not sticky on either side, okay? So what I wanna do here is, I wanna pull off enough to do this wall, which should be about, right about there should be enough. And it bends in half. There's a seam all the way down it, okay? So I bend it right in half all the way. All right, so that's gonna allow me to put this tape right into that corner here. All right, so I just wanna reach up in there. I'm just gonna put it, just tack it right in there, just nice and easy with my finger. I'm gonna work it all the way down. Like that. When I get to the end, I can just rip it off the excess. All right. Then I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to come back with my knife, get it clean, and I'm going to put it right into the corner. And I'm going to work my knife down nice and easy. I'm going to squeeze out any excess compound that is in there. You notice how smooth it's getting all the way down. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the same thing along the ceiling. Put it right into the corner and work it right down. And pulling out any excess compound that I have. All right, let's get that. 
All right, so I smoothed it out all the way down. So right now what I have to do next is I have to wait until this compound dries. It usually takes, depending on the compound that you have, um, they do sell stuff that uh, will dry in 45 minutes, so you'll have, you're able to do, uh, to do another coat uh, within an hour, hour and a half. But this stuff here that I have, uh, it's probably gonna take probably six, eight hours. Uh, once it dries, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna put some more compound along my tape now on both sides, on the wall and the ceiling. And then I'll be able to use my corner trowel where I'm gonna just run it down and make it smooth. And I'm gonna do that twice, okay? So uh, do two, sometimes three coats, depending on the wall. But I think uh, I'd be able to do this in, um, in two coats and I'll be ready for paint. All right, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. So uh, yesterday we uh, put our first coat of tape on. And so this morning I uh, set everything back up. I'm gonna put the second coat of uh, mud on. We're gonna do this two times. Uh, so all I do is I put a little bit of mud on my, uh, the big trowel here so that I can take just a little bit at a time and put it on the eight inch trowel. And I'm just gonna lightly cover the tape on the wall and then on the ceiling as well. And then I'm gonna do that all the way down to the end of the wall. All right, now that I got uh, the uh, second coat of mud applied all the way down the uh, the wall and the ceiling, I'm gonna use this corner trowel that, we, uh, that I talked about yesterday. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right up into the corner. I'm gonna press pretty, pretty hard so that uh, uh, the top edge and the bottom edge is both uh, touching the ceiling. I'm just gonna slowly work it all the way down, pulling the excess mud off the ceiling. All right, so you can see the second coat is applied all the way down. Um, I can still see the tape just a very little bit. So once this dries, we're gonna repeat that process just one more time. Then I'll be ready for uh, a light sanding, which we have that uh, that sanding pad that we talked about yesterday. Uh, what you wanna do is just get any, any rough edges or any lines with it, and then it's ready for paint, all right? So that's how you uh, you tape a, um, a ceiling to a wall when you have, um, when you come to situations that uh, are uh, big gaps in the ceilings and whatnot. So hope you got a little bit taken out of this video. And if you have anything in your house or, or in your apartment that can be fixed similar to this, like I said, all you need is a uh, simple cup of trowels. If you don't have them, I'll let you borrow them, get your bucket of compound, and uh, you can practice at your own place. Thanks for uh, viewing this. and. Uh, I have another project that we're going to start up next.